Look at this. Like, look at my head. Oh my god. Wow. Oh man. Oh my god. Mm. Oh man. That is thick. Mm. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh man. Holy shit. What's going on everyone? It's Asil Suede. Welcome to today's video. So I'm be taking y'all through a full day of eating and training living in Charlotte. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are asking yourselves, Asil, don't you live in Miami? Yes, I do, but I'm visiting Charlotte, North Carolina, aka Charlotte, to visit Jordan. Anyways, guys, I've been here for like a week, figured I'd pick up the camera, show you all a full day of eating, how I'm looking like, and just in general, what I'm doing in the gym. So let's get started. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get all right guys you know what time it is it is officially time for cooking with suede so today i am not going to make my typical protein pancake recipe because i have been doing that many days out of the week for my first meal of the day which is going to be the pre-workout meal i'm actually going to be doing something completely different i've never done this in my life we're going to be making protein waffles so jordan has a little waffle maker here which kind of seems small we're going to call this rebecca i think jordan calls this rebecca <laughs> i do not we're calling this rebecca all right it looks like a Rebecca to me. So uh, we're gonna connect Rebecca and we're gonna attempt making protein waffles for the first time ever. How do I start this, babe? You gotta let it heat up. Literally just connect and spray it. it. Yeah. Okay, so Rebecca's gonna sit My and God. sizzle and just marinate over here. I'm gonna show you all exactly how you make this protein waffle recipe. So this is protein pancake or protein waffle, okay? You just use either a pan to make pancakes or Rebecca to, to make waffles. So we're gonna go ahead and put 80 grams of oatmeal. Follow along here, guys. I'm giving away my secret protein pancake recipe. This is a secret, and a lot of people do search for it. If you just search a seal suede on YouTube search bar, I shit you not, protein pancake comes up. So tons of you are interested. So 80 grams of oats, and then what we're gonna do, so you have two options here. You can either use 184 grams of hardened egg whites, right? Or if you're broke, that was so mean, I'm sorry. In college, I never bought egg beaters because they're a little bit more expensive, right? So you could just use like crack egg whites. So you can either use 184 grams of carton egg whites or six egg whites separated. We're gonna go ahead and do that, all right? And with the power of YouTube, three, two, one, bam! And just like that, with the power of YouTube, we have six egg whites in the blender. So what we're gonna do next is put in some 1% cottage cheese. You could use like fat-free, whatever it is you personally prefer. We need half a serving, right? So one serving is 113 grams. We only need half, that's like the perfect amount. So 56 grams. But a bing, that sounds like a little something we're all familiar with. We're gonna go ahead and slam in a scoop of protein powder. So I personally love using Impact Whey Protein by my protein. I will link this in the description box down below. You can use this code seal VIP to save up to 50% off. It's like the cheapest, best protein powder you will ever find. Garen freaking tea. So I'm gonna use fruity cereal flavored protein powder. This tastes amazing. I know you might be like fruity cereal, are you freaking kidding me? If you do not like to be a little creative with the flavors you use for your pancakes, use vanilla. That's like the best as well. You cannot go wrong with that. So we're gonna go ahead and blend this sucker up. case protein waffle batter so now we're gonna use rebecca's we're gonna use and abuse the hell out of rebecca here i don't know how to do this like how much should i put don't over don't yeah. overdo it i might yeah. botch this guys okay i think that's eh, a little more a little more that's little good more. Ooh, ooh. i'm scared i'm scared all right okay and then you wait ready? until the light goes off wait you're kidding you're ready. it literally tells you yes. when it's ready yes so you're not peeking holy crap this is freaking awesome i feel like i just discovered making 10 fire. bucks at walmart 10 bucks at walmart yeah hey guys we got the hack here so we're gonna wait till this turns green or does it turn green <laughs> i just made that up we're gonna wait till like the light goes ding or whatever the hell it does and then we're gonna see how it comes out Oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. Check it out, we have a protein waffle. So I assume this is gonna make quite a few of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and make like, hopefully around like five of these. I will keep you all updated, don't you worry. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> Holy shit, 
It's Bobby Flay running away because guess what? I just made the best protein waffles known to man. Look at this. Like, look at my head. This is actually like a ton of volume. So I'm gonna post the total amount of calories and macros in meal number one right here in front of the screen. And obviously the rest of the meals throughout I'm eating today, today's full day of eating. Holy crap. Anyways, guys, so check this out. Rebecca has whipped us five protein waffles. We're gonna give this a try. Unfortunately, Jordan does not have sugar-free syrup. I'm a little bit blown, but it's all good. These are gonna be good either way. So let's give this a try. Oh my God. Wow. Oh man. Oh no. I'm a fan. I'm a fan, guys. Protein waffles, protein pancakes. Oh man. Why do you put me in this position, babe? My side, my main. You know what I mean? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Run. Run with Bobby Flay. Yep. <laughs> okay. These are seriously next level. Oh my god, please give this a try. Tag me on Instagram, at the seal suede. If you're not following me on Instagram, please go freaking follow me. None of you follow me or engage with my content on Instagram. It actually sucks, but I appreciate you. Mm. Come here, I'm a little closer to her. Oh man, look at the thickness on that. Oh, that is thick. Mm. Okay, so that is going to be meal number one. We're going to go to the gym about an hour from now. This is going to be really filling. I like having my first meal of the day, especially while I'm traveling and not at home. After like four hours upon waking up because fasting just kind of helps me control my appetite and my calories when I'm out of town. So I can also eat out more and like enjoy different kinds of foods. Just a little bit of a tip there. I'm going to enjoy this. See you guys at the gym. Oh man. <sighs> all right guys, so here at the apartment complex gym at Jordan's place, which is super cool, but I'm gonna take you all through a back and shoulders workout here. So it's gonna be extremely quick, time efficient. Any single person can do this and see some crazy results. Just do it once per week and get stronger on these exercises that I show you. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and do some barbell rows. And again, we're kind of limited on equipment here, which is great due to the whole COVID situation. I feel like you guys are gonna enjoy this. So just a few exercises, follow along. We're gonna do three sets of barbell rows for eight to 10 reps per set. Just finished my third set of eight to 10 reps. Look, two plate barbell rows for eight to 10 reps. If you can do that, you most likely have a good foundation of strength and you will have a big back. But anyways, we're gonna go from back to shoulders. So we're gonna do some standing dumbbell shoulder presses for three sets up to 10 to 12 reps. 10, 10 to 12 reps. We're going a little bit lighter here and increasing the repetitions because we can't go as heavy since we're standing and we're limited with equipment. I think we only have 40 pound dumbbells. So actually we're gonna do as many reps as we can. But if you have more dumbbells at home, try to pick a weight where you could do like 10 to 12 reps. I was doing three sets of around like 15 to 18 reps because that was too damn light for me, man. Come on. I'm so loud. You guys know that. We need heavier weights. But in all seriousness, pick a weight. You could do 10 to 12 reps. And keep on progressing with that amount you use. And make sure you're keeping your core tight here. This is a great exercise that takes away just not only the shoulders, but makes it more of a full body workout. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on to some lat pull downs because we're going from back to shoulders to back. Shouts out Drake, but we didn't really go back to back. So let's do it. Three sets, 10 to 12 reps here. Lat pull down. Alright guys, so 
there you have it. Some lat pull downs here. Three sets of 10 to 12. We're gonna move on to shoulders again. So we're gonna do some dumbbell side raises. We're gonna do three sets of 12 to 15 reps. You don't need to go super heavy on here. Just focus on kind of rotating the elbow. Really hitting the delts. And you're gonna grow. I swear to God, those are the best exercises for your full shoulders. You're trying to get those all natty boulder shoulders, but we're gonna move on, guys. So this one is gonna be a little bit interesting. All right, so check it out, guys. We're moving on to the last and final portion of today's back and shoulders workout. So we saved the worst for last. So you guys are gonna absolutely hate me for this, but you're gonna thank me for this. So we're gonna do a tri drop set or a triple drop set, whatever it is the hell you wanna call it. So we're gonna do some machine horizontal rows, just like this. So we're gonna do eight to 10 reps here. And then we're immediately gonna go to the Smith machine and do some Smith machine shrugs for our traps, just like so. And then we're gonna go immediately do some dumbbell rear delt raises, just like this, for 12 to 15 reps. All right, three sets each. So it's gonna be one set, eight to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 15. You're gonna rest for about like 90 to 120 seconds. And then you're gonna do it again, two more times. May the force be with you. defeated and holy sh we made it through guys you have this back and shoulders we're gonna try it's gonna take you no more than 30 up to 40 minutes to do and make sure you just track all the way you're doing for every single set of every single exercise trust me that takes you a very very long way but look let me help you make a complete body transformation i can create your own personalized workout program and your meal plan in order to achieve your fitness goals guaranteed give me a chance and let me coach you okay you can click the first link in the description box down below to get help in making your own very body transformation but with all that being said guys i'm gonna go head to the grocery store with jordan we're gonna pick up some food needed for meal number two aka the post-workout meal so let's go All right, guys, so I am at Food Lion. Can someone please tell me why it's so damn cold in grocery stores? Like, I have to bring a freaking sweater and it's summer. But anyways, guys, so we're gonna make the second meal of the day, which is gonna be absolutely epic. So this always happens. Like, my first meal of the day isn't that large, and I fast, right? So I break my fast a little bit later, and then it's like my pre-workout meal, and I have so much going on. And then it's like dinner time for my next meal. So I love to sit down, have a big meal, and enjoy. So we're gonna have some potatoes. By the way, gold potatoes are facts, the best potato out there. And then we're gonna get some like steaks or something. Follow along, come on. Okay, so check it out. Next up, we're picking up some sirloin steaks along with a beef flat iron filet. We tried this the other day and it was really, really good surprise. So. officially upgrading ourselves 
from boys to gentlemen. And if you have ever consumed a meal like this, or if you do consume meals like this, you are officially part of the Sauvage Squad. So check it out. We have meal number two, which is definitely going to be my biggest meal of the day. So I have a 12 ounce cooked sirloin steak, which looks absolutely beautiful. I have a whole bag of a baby broccoli blend steam fresh bag, which is awesome. It cooks just about five minutes in the microwave. It's around like three and a half servings of vegetables. We have 300 grams of air fried golden potatoes, which are marvelous. If you have yet to get an air fryer, get an air fryer. So two tips today, get a waffle maker and get an air fryer. It will definitely upgrade your cooking skills. So let's go ahead and give this steak a try. If you botch a steak, definitely not swovage of you to do. This looks good, medium rare. You have to eat a steak medium rare. Oh man, oh my gosh. Oh, this my friends, A1, without the A1. This is the type of meal I typically like to eat. Again, if I only consumed around like five to 600 calories and it's been like 7, 8 p.m. Or I like to eat out. That's why I like to fast and then eat meal one, train, do a lot of work up to my second meal of the day. Make this my biggest meal, have fun. Try it out yourself, it's a good strategy. Mm, I'm gonna enjoy this, I can see. It's amazing, we'll see how Jordan likes her steak. Okay, so check it out guys, this is Jordan's plate. She's got a nine ounce steak. Yes, ladies, you can still eat like this and make gains and progress of their fitness goals, but how many grams of potatoes is this? Uh, 150. <laughs> like 150 grams. We have some kale chips, is that what you call it? Yeah, or I am like very hungry, so come on. <laughs> <laughs> guys so that meal was fantastic so it's been about two hours from now so it's currently 10 7 p.m so i'm gonna end off my day of eating with the last and final meal of the day which is just gonna be like a shake and also two apples so i already plugged this in in my macros as jordan and i were sitting watching the best movie ever on cable which is called casino Amazing, Robert De Niro's an absolute stud, but we're also gonna use a scoop of protein powder here for the shake, along with a cup of almond milk, and then a serving of frozen blueberries, and a tablespoon of peanut butter, because I need a little bit more fats to hit my total calories in the day for my specific fitness goals. So I'm not gonna show you guys this. I'm sure some of you are like, Seal, come on, man, don't leave us hanging, show us a shake. Dude, I've shown you all like a million and a half shakes, and some of you guys complain about it. Most of you guys don't, but anyways, uh, let me discuss like the total so check it out guys the total macros and calories in my full day of eating today consisted of 2445 calories coming from 196 grams of protein 215 grams of carbs and 91 grams of fat so those of you who normally watch my full day of eating videos and vlogs know that I simply stick to a higher carb and lower fat diet with a high protein intake of around like 180 to 200 grams however today because I knew I was gonna have a huge dinner with steak and I am very generous with my portions of steak, I figured I'd drop my carbs and increase my fats as long as I still hit my calorie goal of around like 2,500. So that's just a little tip there, okay? You can kind of manipulate your macros as long as you hit your target goal calories for your specific fitness goal. But look, so thank you so much for joining me on my day. I love each and every single one of you. And look, I do these vlogs because I just really want to help inspire and motivate you to live a better, happier, and healthier life. The fitness lifestyle is a simple one. It's an enjoyable one. Anybody can freaking do it, have fun with it, and it's just amazing being happy, healthy, lean, muscular, and fit. And hopefully I can show you all that despite my own conditions and circumstances. So let me help you make a complete body transformation by clicking that first link so you can join my program. I wanna create your own custom workout program and meal plan and we can succeed together. So let me coach you, I promise you will not regret it. Click the first link, pick up a Sauvage tea as well, get confident, join the gang, join the lifestyle. And I can't wait to see every single one of you in the next video. Thank you so much for support, guys.